you both, your, your two guys who both had to sit last year, can you just talk about how excited you were, how itching you were to play each one of you tonight? You want to first? All right. Um, you know, it was it was a long year last year. It's very hard, but I'm just you know blessed to be here, blessed to get another chance to play basketball. And um, you know, last year was a real good year for me to gel with my teammates. And um, you know, we had a lot of fun on and off the court. And um, I'm just glad to be back on the court with uh, with everybody that was here last year. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. same same sentiments. You know, sitting out last year it was it was tough. It was tough, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot about just the game of basketball in general. And ever since the start of my rest of the season, I've been itching to get back onto the court. And it just felt, it was an amazing feeling to get back out there with my guys. And I was glad I could help uh, the Canes get a dub today. How did you both feel hearing like the, you know, introductions and you're both getting to start a game for the first time in a long time? Uh, definitely gave me chills. Um, it's been something I've been dreaming about. Even just being a starter at the University of Miami, uh, just going out there and just having fun. And I enjoyed every second of it. I need to answer that too. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, same thing Rodney said. It's just uh, a blessing to be here, you know, a blessing to get back on the court. And, um, you know, I had to sit out a whole year, but um, it's finally good to start seeing, you know, um, into the tunnel, seeing the light. And um, just being able to be out there with my teammates, um, that's the most fun thing about it. I mean, we're so close on and off the court. So, um, you know, helping them win and everybody getting together and gelling is just such a um, – so it's so fun to be out there with them. Cam, did you ever uh, figure that you were going to score 20 tonight with the leading score in your first game back? Um, no, I did not. Honestly, after the first five minutes, I thought Rod was going to have a hot hand because, <laughs> I mean, he was just he was just phenomenal in the paint. Um, he was getting to his spot, taking his time, getting to his shot. Uh, he played really well, but, um, you know, um, my name was called and um, I just stepped up and um, did what I had to do. I got this one. Uh, well, we we had a, a international trip over the summer. We went to Italy, so we got to see what what it would be like in a competitive setting. And tonight, I feel like you can see the progress they've been making. Uh, we've been harking on them on def on the defensive end. I think they they've been doing a good job. I feel like as just as a team in general, we have a lot more work to do. But uh, I'm positive, and I think we had, we took a really good step forward today. And the freshmen, if they just keep up the way they're going, as they have a great work ethic, all three of them, and I think we're going to be really good this season, especially them. What do you have to do between today and Tuesday to get ready for Louisville? That's a, a tough opener. Recover, mm. recover. Uh, we played a good team today, um, so now we're gonna we got tomorrow off, work on our bodies, and then we gotta get back on the court, and we're gonna go really hard uh, because. We got to prepare for Louisville, but we also got to just be in mind we got to get better every day. Uh, sitting out last season, Coach L really got made the point to it doesn't matter, just get better. So personally, me, I'm sticking to it. I want to help in the team anyway and just get better every single day. What improvements do you think that the team needs? Uh, he talked about defending the three effort, second half. What what did you see that needs to improve to be able to to play with Louisville on Tuesday? <clears throat> um, the things that Coach Hell said were, I mean, right on point. Um, we got to uh, find that uh, those juices towards the end of the second half. Uh, they went on a little run um, in those last 10 minutes and, um, you know, cut the game down a little bit. But as soon as they cut it down, we, um, we turned it up. So we just got to stay consistent, um, you know, do a better job of uh, taking away the three, especially um, playing a guy like uh, um, Jordan Nora from uh, Louisville. Uh, he can really shoot it, so we had to take the, take away the three from him, and also um, just defend better as a whole, come together as a team. And um, you know, I feel like offensively, we're not gonna really have too much problem scoring. It's just our defense that needs to really take that next step. Anything else? All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations.